Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. The Panda King and the Guru are in position beneath the palace. Once you're inside, they'll start blasting. Y'all know better than to expect me to be a slave to schedules. I work more or less on Valve time, for those who know what that is. Might as well do it with style. Okay. Please don't be dressing up as the photography he, photographer. He already knows that you. Okay, guys. I'm here topside. The bases around you are used in an ancient Chinese security technique to detect subterranean thieves. Our tunneling to free Jing King will shake the palace. I get you. If any of the vases tip over, it'll trip an alarm. Correct. Don't allow them to fall. I am putting my trust in you, Sly Cooper. We'll get Jing King. I promise. Hava -hava -ta. The Guru's right. Let's get this show on the road. I got a better plan. One that Murray would ex Murray would respect. Just break all the vases. Do a false positive. Oh my god. If all the vases are broken, then he won't expect any thievery down below. He just thinks that I'm being an asshole, destroying all of his vases in revenge. Okay. Oh my god. Well, at least they give me plenty of time. Make it. No! Damn it all. I'd rather just break them all. See, they don't even start shaking that much at first either, so it's. You gotta really pay attention. Keep your eyes focused on them all, all at once. No. This would probably be a little bit easier in widescreen. Because some on the left and right are kind of hard to spot. Success. We're directly beneath the bridal chamber, just a few inches from Jing King. Hear that, Bentley? You're up. Smash him anyways. Lure Carmelita with your grapple cam to the front of the palace. I left her a calling card and I'm sure she'll see it and come inside. Then, it's time for a little subterfuge. Oh, and keep your position on the stilt platform. You're on point for the treasure drop. Stilt platform? Which one is the stilt platform? And where is our, uh, grapple cam L2? Oh, no, no, wait. Do we ourselves need to be over there, or do... Does the grapple cam need to be over there? I don't know. Well, let's just say the grapple cam needs to be over there. If I need to move... See, they said that Murray, or that Bentley needs to be on the stilt thing. I, I suppose that I'm on the stilt thing already. Oh, God. Um. Over here. Okay, I don't need to be calling out my position. And I don't need to be shooting right there, either. Crap. I don't really like the grapple cam. It's so hard to control. Oh, that's fantastic. Damn it all. Can I throw it any further than that? Damn, this thing sucks. If only it had some sort of aerial moves on it. And I have to go all the way around because- well, unless I take the mountainside path. 
No, that's not going to help because now I'm on the top of this thing and, uh, crap. And all that's blocking me off. Self-destruct. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the grapple cam because if the slightest thing is blocking your path, then you're screwed. It, do, it does have some nice range on it, though, I will admit. Look at that. Alright, so if I take this path... Okay, let's try it over here instead. And completely screw everything up. Please tell me I can land on the lamppost. No, I... Well, yes, I can. Oh, God, please do not see me. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Turn around. He is just staring right at me. Oh, thank God. Okay, now here's the thing. How exactly am I going to get Carbon Lita to come this way? Hey, buddy. Okay, good. She's got my position. Move. And she blows me up. And I'm about to shoot myself off this building. <laughs> How many more ways can Bentley go wrong? I pressed R2 and I meant to press L2. Alright, now where's Car- Okay, thank God she keeps her position. Move down. It's like a puzzle almost. Which ways can you go without something else blocking your path? Alright, so... This is going to take a while, I'm sure of it. Come over to this position. And blow me up! Blow me darn! If I get her to climb that, is that the right path to go right there? I really hope she kills this Bingle Tiger. Otherwise, he's going to kill me. Follow the sound of my voice. Go. Keep going. Aha. Way to go. Kind of worked. Yo, ugly. Move. Faster. <laughs> okay, now that was actually fun. Too bad now Carmelita is in a position that is going to be hard to get to. A little bit more. Damn it, why do I keep doing the wrong button? Yo, mama. Up here! Eat dirt. Come on, Carmelita! Cooper! Ugh. These guys have to brag even when they're running away. General Sao, I was beyond hoping for such a thing. Yes, my daughter. You are safe. Heads up, Sly. You've got company. And down she goes. Okay, uh, Bentley. Secret Plan Alpha is underway. You know the one where I disguise myself as General Sal and steal the Veiled Bride during the wedding ceremony? Yeah, make sure the whole gang's there. Okay, I'm headed to the rendezvous now. Over and out. Huh. Sly Cooper and his secret plans. Who's this Veiled Bride he's so interested in anyways? Well, he's not the only one who can play the disguise game. I'll give him and his gang a shotgun wedding they'll never forget. I cannot stress enough how much I hate that voice. What strange rumbling have disturbed my meditation? And on the very eve of my wedding? Do not worry, my bride. I will not let anything prevent our love from blossoming. 
Not even your misguided attempts to escape. Ah well. Perhaps my meditation will be more focused amid the splendor of my treasure temple. I'm still not entirely sure how this part of the plan comes together. I mean, I got the treasure, I got the bride. Just haul ass out of here now. Carmelita took the bait. Where are you guys at with Jin King? We're in the van, waiting for the treasure and escape. Hey, Murray, Sal's on his way to your position. How you coming with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannonball! No, way! Uh-oh. Okay, guys, parachute down the treasure to me. I'm ready! treasure, not the entire vault. My family temple destroyed! Never have I suffered such an outrage! You shall pay! Eat it, Sal! I broke your temple, and I'll break your face for messing with the Cooper gang! You cannot hurt me! Oh yeah? Heads up, Emily! Treasure chest coming down! The outrage! Stone Dragon of the Temple, I summon you from rock to flesh! Aid the family Tao in this hour of need! Holy crap. Sweet strawberry shortcake! No! Let go of me! Ha <laughs> ha! The Tao line is master in this place. Hear me, Sly Koopa! My lineage surpasses yours in every way! It's not about the family name, pal. It's what you do with it. Sly, I'm okay! I broke my fall on one of these wedding fireworks, and it gave me an idea! Sly, help! Smack this guy around so he'll let go! Why do I have to fight a dragon who's got fire breath? Of course he does. Why wouldn't a dragon have fire breath? I don't even know how to fight him. Because that didn't really work. And I need another rocket to get up there. Please, I'm begging you. Please tell me that these rockets respawn. Because I have a feeling I'm going to end up using them all. Alright, so. Hop. Shut up. Okay, so I figure I gotta get to his head, but then what? I don't really have much of a chance to attack him. Because he keeps fighting, fire breathing. Okay, run. I don't like his tongue, that's the thing. He, he keeps wanting to tongue me. And I am not down for that. No, damn it, fell again. Okay, gotta find another rocket. Thankfully there was one right there, how convenient. Actually, this boss fight... Well, this boss fight seems to be going a lot easier than the one against General Chow. The second half of General Chow, that is. I mean, once you figure out the, how to fight his first form, the little bamboo martial art thing, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so just play a little bit of uh, jumping rope. Jump, jumping rope. Jump rope. Okay, that's not so bad. That, however, is. Oh, that is perfect. Land me right there. Go right back up. No time wasted. And then just get back to him. If I can continue this pattern, this will be nothing. Come on, come at me, bro. Oh my god, he's got another attack. Of course he does. 
And thank you, I was right, these rockets do respawn. That makes things so much easier. It means less exploring to find them. Okay, that was a major malfunction, but thankfully with the paraglide, I was able to recover. However, uh, over jumped that right there. Kind of messed things up. Where is it? There it is. I knew there was one around here. Land on his head. Make things easier for me. No. Here we go again. No, why do I keep falling right there? I keep doing an extra jump that I don't need to be doing. At least he's not that hard. I mean, the little hand hand attack that he did a few minutes ago kind of took me by surprise and did a lot of damage, but... Aside from that... No! Oh my... First time he actually gets me with that. And I'm almost dead. And with this... He should be dead. Or, actually, I'm gonna play it safe. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. With a sliver of health, he kills me. Well, can't say he's hard, though. That was completely my mistake that I died. Definitely gonna learn my lesson for this round of attacks. See, now I know to watch out for that little... No! See? Now I know what to avoid. Ow, and he still gets me. What a jerk. Yeah, he's nothing, really. And just like that, already half health. No, I thought he was gonna spin around! Damn him. Damn that dragon. But again, thankfully there's a lot of rockets around this area, so I'm not constantly looking for them. So much time saved. You have got to be kidding me, I spire jumped. I actually dare say that there's too many rockets around here. I mean, there's just two right here in this little vicinity. Oh, again? And as soon as I say that, now I'm having trouble finding a rocket. Oh, never mind. One right here. I was kind of expecting one on every single building. Now that would be overkill. Okay, careful with my spire jumps this time. Okay, you know what? There is something wrong. Because I know for a fact I pressed circle that time. For some odd reason, it's not registering. Just like the crypt before. Let's give it a few seconds before I actually begin my spire jumps. There we go. Don't know why he was doing that. And back to attacking. Okay, there is no reason he should have got me. I was actually in my mid-jump when he hit me. And I need to stop looking backwards, too. And, of course, a spin. Where's that rocket? Right there. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, he's not that tough. It's just a matter of these spire jumps either not working all the time, or the first time he just kind of surprised me with that little attack right there. No! Get up there! Rest in peace, Mushu. Feel like making an exit? My hero. I actually hope there's a stage two to this. I still win, Koopa. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the bride. Jing King is mine. Sly gets all the ladies. 
Jean King, Penelope Pitstop, and Carmelita. Jump in quick, and we're out of here. No, I guess there is no space to that boss fight. Huh. Yeah, I definitely liked the General Chow fight a lot better. General Sal had his wedding right on schedule. Everything was as he'd arranged, except the bride came as kind of a shock. Carmelita was a little disappointed it wasn't me she busted at the altar, although I doubt she minded taking Sal into custody. He did, after all, plague the streets with the undead. From what I hear, the locals were happy to see him go. We dropped off Jean King with her aunt. The Panda King insisted that she be safe there and that he needed to pay off his debt to the gang. I was still wary, but there was no denying that his skills would come in handy. Needless to say, we lived it up in the back streets of Shanghai. What kind of gang of thieves would we be if we passed up on recreation like that? Yeah, maybe Zamuri is stronger than the Panda King if he was able to lift all that. Decent chapter, though. Dead men tell no tales, are. Wait, is this gonna be a pirate level? I mean, it looks like, I mean, there's a, a Jolly Ranch. <laughs> I was about to say a Jolly... Yes, there's Jolly Ranchers in the background. No, there's a Jolly Roger in the background. Nice, so the next chapter is gonna be a pirate level. That's gonna be cool. Can't wait for that one. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that was actually a fairly decent chapter, but... I gotta say, the fight with General Chow, that was a boss fight. The thing with the dragon felt like something you would do in the middle of the chapter as just a regular old mission. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me today, and I'll see you next time for Dead Men Tell No Tales. Arr. Until then, adios.